Hi, lovely little friends. So once again, we are together to go ahead on our journey for learning grammar from our platform Learn Forward. And we are together with the book, The Grammar Hub by Feather Caps for Grade 3. What are we going to learn today? You are there with chapter number 11 of your book, Adverbs. What are they? Adverbs. They add more to the meaning of verbs. Let's learn about them. Underline the verbs in the following sentences. So, because adverbs are based on verbs, we are going to check out how much you remember what verbs are. Let's read the first sentence. The boys like chocolates. Yes, that's perfect. Like is the action here. The mother buys a lot of flowers. Oh, your mother likes too many flowers. So, buys is the verb here. Very good. Ravi drives a car. What's the action going on? Drives. That's perfect. Next, the library closes at 5 p.m. every day. Wonderful answer. That's perfect. It is closed. The dogs were barking. So, what's the verb here, children? Yes, it is barking. And there's one more verb. Can you see? That is the helping verb here. Var. So, let's get started with adverbs. As the name suggests, add verbs. That means they add something to the verb. What do they add? They modify the verbs. They tell us something about an action. And what can they tell students? Like, it can be how an action is done. Do you want to know how somebody is reading? How somebody is writing? How somebody is running? Isn't it? So, that is one kind of adverb that tells you how an action is done. You might also get excited to know when is it going to happen? Isn't it? Suppose you are going to party. So, the question arises, when are we going to party? That means, again for an action, you are going to know the time of its happening. Isn't it? That is another kind of adverb. And the next comes is, where are you going to have the party? Yes, that means you are going to tell the place of the action. So, based on this, we will be learning about three kinds of adverbs. And that is the adverb of, first, we are going to ask how the action happens. So, how tells you adverb of? manner. It gives an answer to how. Then the next I told you, you want to know the time of your action? So, it will be adverb of time. And for time, what question do we ask? When? Yes. So, the adverb of time is going to give you the answer to the question. When is it going to happen? Okay. And then comes the adverb of where is it going to happen? Adverb of place. Yes. And this is where. It gives an answer to the question where. Right? So, these are the three kinds of adverbs we will be learning today. Now, let us look at this example. Lata plays the piano beautifully. So, she plays the piano and you want to know how does she play the piano? So, from where are you getting that answer to the question? How? Perfect. Beautifully. So, that means it is an adverb. Right? It is modifying. It is telling you something more about the action in the sentence. Next is the class is sitting quietly. So, if I ask you how is the class sitting? Again, I am going to get this answer quietly. So, this word quietly is telling me something more, something about the happening of uh, sitting in the class. How are the children sitting? So, that is modifying your verb. That is again an adverb. So, let us do the three kinds of adverbs in detail now. The first one I have told you is the adverb of manner and it gives an answer to your question how an action takes place. Like the lady walked slowly. How did the lady walk? Slowly. So, you get your answer from there. Next, the man shouted angrily. How did the man shout? He did not shout politely. He shouted angrily. Next, 
the sun shines how does it shine yes and from this you get the answer to your adverb of manner that is brightly so all these words are the adverb of manner because all these three words are answering to your question how and it becomes very easy with this question word children now the next type is adverb of place so place when do you tell when somebody asks you where do you live you tell the place where you live so for place we are going to put which question we are going to ask where the action is happening or where it happened or where it will happen right like the children are waiting outside where are the children waiting outside so you get an answer to where he lives here yes here is telling you the adverb of place the where does the bus stop the bus stops there now again you are getting the answer to your question where so these are the adverbs of place easy with these question words remember okay and the next type is adverb of time which gives an answer to when are you going to school when will you have your holidays so you tell the time right so this question is asked when you want to know about the adverb of time like my grandma gave me a gift today so when did she give you the gift she gave it today so when i lost my bag yesterday when did you lose your bag yesterday so again answer to your question when she will come late when will she come she will come late she will come early yes so these words are the adverbs of time you are getting answer to your question when so three questions we have learned are how when and where which give you the adverb of manner the adverb of time comes from when and the adverb of place comes from where remember these three words i hope you have understood adverbs let's see what you have followed through this exercise pick and list the verbs and the adverbs also from each of the given sentences so two columns are given to you in one you will write the verb in the other you will write the adverb let's read the first sentence sonia hid quietly under the bed so what is the action let's first take that out will underline yes hid means to hide somewhere so this is the action here in past tense hide is hid in past tense and the question arises where did she hide how did she hide yes she hid quietly right now my question was where did she hide so what answer will you get for it yes she hid under the bed children but see what did i tell you what are adverbs adverbs are words and this is not one word this is a phrase it is a group of words and moreover we have a thing here which is a noun so this group of words will not be adverb although it is giving an answer to where did she hide so we will consider the single word only as adverb please remember this so this is not your adverb next the choir is singing loudly in the church so what is the action here good singing is the action is singing so singing is the verb and what are you getting to know about this action how they are singing or how the choir is singing or the other one is where is the choir singing now again we will look only for the answer that we are getting in one word so which word is giving you the answer how how is the choir singing 
loudly and again see when i ask you where is the choir singing in the church is not one word it is a group it is a phrase so this will not be considered this is not an adverb right so loudly is your adverb let's move to the next he is eating the fish carefully so what is the action what is he doing he is eating yes so eating is the verb here and how is he eating good carefully so this is your adverb this is carefully right mr colt washes his car regularly i hope it's easy and you can do that good and then washes yes i can hear that washes is the correct answer that is the verb and what is the adverb here very good so you will write now the underlined word is the verb and the encircled one is adverb yes next the teacher shouted angrily at the children so yes that's the perfect answer shouted is the verb and how angrily that is the adverb let's do the last one here the soldiers marched proudly in the parade so what did they do what are they doing they are marching that means this is the action and what's the adverb children proudly yes this is your adverb so that is easy for you now i hope you have understood the kinds of adverbs properly okay now the next we are going to learn how to form the adverbs we must know most of the adverbs are formed by adding ly ly to your adjectives like beautiful is an adjective we will add ly to it it becomes beautifully and cl is getting repeated here it will be double ly so we are just added ly to your adjective to make it adverb next hi highly i'll be highly obliged you write like that in the applications when you request somebody you say if you accept i'll be highly obliged right next smart so again you are adding ly and you are getting your adverb smartly so this is how you form adverbs by adding ly but sometimes when you already have y at the end see the same rule follows again i have told you many times in nouns also and then in verbs also that whenever we have y at the end most of the times y is changed into i before adding something like we added es by changing y into i right similarly here we will first change the last letter y into i before making it an adverb by adding ly so if you have happy you are first dropping it changing it replacing it with i and then you will be adding ly so it becomes happily again angry y at the end you are going to drop this replace it with i and then add ly so it becomes angrily so y is something that is pointing out every time right so it gets changes into i so let's see if you have understood this or not we'll be doing an exercise here convert the given adjectives into adverbs what you have to remember just add ly and if the word already has y at the end we are going to change it into i before adding ly let's do it polite what are you going to do yes just add ly so it will be politely next is bright again it's not y at the end just add ly here okay greedy you have y at the end so what will be the spelling now g r w e d greed you will drop y replace it with i so it becomes d i then add l y greedily so it's easy now for you careful 
yes you have l at the end which will be repeated just like we did in beautiful so it will be l y so it becomes double l here okay next punctual again l ending okay we are going to repeat l it becomes l y here so that is punctually clear i hope you can do these now heavy it's y ending you can do it i'm sure sudden simple l y so can we move ahead now and let's recall what we have learned in today's session on adverbs what are adverbs adverbs are the words that modify a verb that tell you something about the happening of action that tell you about the verbs right and most of the times they give an answer to how where and when and very important thing you have to remember here is that they are words single word only you will not put, take out the answer in a group of words please remember that so we have done ahead three types of adverbs the adverb of manner the adverb of place and the adverb of time manner gives you an answer to the question how wonderful then place gives you an answer to the question where good and time gives you an answer to when that's perfect so i'm happy to see all of you have understood adverbs and their kinds Okay, let's see how much you retain there then. Let's do this exercise now. Tick the correct answers. The word that adds to the meaning of a verb. Sometimes it's add, it adds to the meaning of an adjective or ad, some other adverb also. That we'll be doing in higher grades, right? So, what is that word called? That is an adverb. Good. Next. An old man walks slowly. What does slowly tell you? So, what does it tell you? Yes, that tells you how does the old man walk. Next, our school bus stops there. Okay, the word there, what does it show? Place, very good because it's giving an answer to where does it stop. Next. The, my younger sister writes, so we can have, how does she write? Neatly, very good. So, coming to the next exercise, fill in the blanks with suitable adverbs. Now, you have a group of adverbs here in your help box and let's see how you fill up and complete the sentences. The lion roared. So, can we see here? Uh, some words that are going to help you out to complete the sentence. The lion roared quietly, slowly, angrily. Yes, that can be the answer. And then noisily, quickly and even loudly can be the answer here. So, we have two options, angrily as well as loudly. Okay. So, let's see which one we are going to fix. We'll see later. I am tired. Let's walk. When you are tired, how do you feel like walking? You we walk slowly. So, do we have here? Yes. So, this is your number two. Next, I woke up because the phone rang. How did the phone ring? Quietly? No. Then noisily or quickly? It will be Noisily, okay. It can be loudly because you got disturbed. So, this will be loudly. Okay, now we have the answer to your first blank which will be angrily only. Let's see the next. She does not complain about the food and she eats. How does she eat? She eats quietly. She never complains. So, this can be your fourth answer. Next, the children are reading. How are the children reading? Yes, because everybody is reading aloud. So, that is making a noise in the class. Here you go with the word noisily. That is perfect. Next, I cannot catch him. Why can't you catch him? Because he runs quickly. That's perfect. So, what we observed here? Sometimes more than one adverb is suitable at one place. Okay. 
but you just have to fix if the help box is given you have to fix the uh, ones which cannot be replaced right so this is how you could do this exercise and i hope you enjoyed this session on adverbs knowing more about your actions that happen around so we'll be looking for more wonderful sessions till then happy learning